back we were in into the dressing room. I resent that. I've been on a diet. I lost a couple of pounds, and I thought I was looking good. For the rematch two weeks later, relentless defense <laughs> says Bounty Bowl 2, Eagles fans raised their game, aided by the front office, which neglected to remove tons of snow that had blanketed Veteran Stadium. We didn't get a chance to clean the uh, stadium seats uh, because the snow came in at that time, so it was, uh, you know, no big deal. Both teams had to play in. Well, I remember getting hit by seven snowballs, and the thing I remember most is all my trainers running around saying, uh, keep your helmet on. <laughs> I didn't really know that game. I really was trying to bomb uh, Jim Johnson, and uh, a couple of our guys out here, because they were really soft. And, a full decade later, Eagles fans proved the depth of their contempt for the Cowboys. A lot of them always been angry. A lot of bad words have been said throughout the years and whatnot. But I was down the field and I had a message with the fans too. And it just made us classless. Well, Dallas defeated Los Angeles 4 years ago on Wild Card Weekend, but in the 14th season since the Michael Irvin incident, the Eagles have won 16 games while losing 12. And after all these years, the intensity of the Philadelphia-Dallas rivalry is undiminished. It's not the NFL's most story rivalry, but it may be its most uncivil. I think those rivals, uh, for years, took football to another level. There was no rivalry that was as fierce. Nasty. It's the Eagles and the Cowboys. It's Philadelphia. It's Dallas. There is 